Anticipated since the beginning of this console generation, Forza Motorsport, the eighth installment in the franchise, arrived six years after the last series release, which was traditionally a biennial event. With its release, the reason for this delay becomes clear, as it brings significant technical advancements compared to previous iterations in the Motorsport series. The game leverages the full capabilities of Turn 10's proprietary engine, Forza Tech, introducing the most eagerly awaited graphic feature of this generation, ray tracing, which is present in virtually all aspects of the game. Additionally, there has been a substantial increase in the geometry of in-game elements, improvements in the physics of cars, and various other enhancements. For Xbox Series X users, three graphical options are available, performance, performance with ray tracing, and quality. On the other hand, Xbox Series S users have access to performance and quality modes. Starting with the Xbox Series X modes, the performance mode focuses on delivering a consistent 60 frames per second, even if it means disabling features such as ray tracing. It's worth noting that, in my opinion, ray tracing still seems active on the surfaces of cars, although it doesn't reflect other competitors. In this mode, pre-processed ambient occlusion technique, baked AO, is employed. Global Illumination uses SurfLs, combining hardware ray tracing with scene geometry discretization to cache and amortize real-time lighting calculations, including global illumination and shadows, also as an RT feature. In this mode, we also observe that textures have lost some layers of composition on the tracks, although they maintain a quality level similar to the best possible implementation. In Performance RT mode, there are improvements in reflections, with the expanded use of ray tracing to reflect other competitors on the surfaces of cars and reflections on the tracks as well. Additionally, ray tracing AO is utilized in this mode to add more depth to the scenes, especially on the cars. Other features remain similar to the performance mode, and the stability of 60 frames per second, even with the added graphical features. Raises questions about the necessity of the previously mentioned mode, performance mode. In quality mode, ray tracing reflections are added to various elements on the tracks, such as buildings, glass barriers, bridges, etc. While maintaining and improving all the features added in performance RT mode, along with additional layers of detail in the track textures. However, the game is locked at 30 frames per second, as are the cutscenes, which consistently have all features enabled in all modes and on all consoles. On Xbox Series X, a 4K resolution is maintained in all modes, with potential occasional drops during gameplay, which were not observed in the captured footage. On the Xbox Series S, both modes closely resembled the performance mode on the Xbox Series X, with differences in resolution and frame rate, offering 1440p at 30 frames per second in quality mode and 1080p at 60 frames per second in performance mode. Textures in quality mode retain the same layers of detail as in the corresponding mode on the Xbox Series X, regarding reflections, as in the performance mode on the Xbox Series X. There is some uncertainty as to whether the hood view uses ray tracing or an efficient implementation of screen space reflections. A definitive conclusion on this matter could not be reached. In summary, in my humble opinion, the game offers excellent graphical quality and performance, regardless of the console or mode chosen. The 30 frames per second modes are so smooth that one may question the necessity of the 60 frames per second modes. Furthermore, the game boasts the best implementation of ray tracing in a racing game that I have ever seen. The six-year wait since the last Motorsport release has truly been worth it for this game. Thank you very much.